on the far side. Couldn't Chica not able to hold it in. Melissa Bromley, the journalism major in the far corner, getting to it. Couldn't Chica over there as well, another fellow senior. Bromley looking to get it up along the near wall. However, it's taken away by Sibley. Sibley centering pass, and it's a goal. Tigers couldn't clear the zone. That leads to a goal. 1-0 Syracuse. McRae comes up with it. Creating a little space. Tigers out in front. Backhander by Barrow. Puts it in the rebound. And the Tigers have tied it on the power play. Courtney Kunichika with the goal for RIT. That was a great power play goal. You see Marissa Majeri cycle the puck down. Kunichika passes it in front of the net as Patton throws it back over. And Kunichika gets that shot and shoots it right in there. We see Drinkwater move over to the front here, and she doesn't move back as the rebound jumps out to Courtney. Big blast, and a deflection in front, and a goal. I believe they're going to get Hosamata with the goal, the deflection in front on the power play. It's 2-1 Syracuse. So the Tigers, this period, one for two with the power play. Thurston swings it over to Brown. Big one-timer on the far side. And the Tigers on the power play have tied it. How about that? Scoring deflects just wide. Payroll gets tied up on the far side. She'll give it up. 12 seconds remaining in the five on three. Quinichica will dig it out. She's got Scoring right in the slot. Couldn't find her. Now sends it back up as Scoring drops back. 2-1, and we're back to a five on four. Feed right in, break the shot, put back in, and the Tigers take the lead on the goal by number 15, Colby McRae. Back to live action, quick shot, and it's deflected in. Pia Centini, another deflection. It's another power play goal this period. This comes with 17 seconds remaining in the period, and we are tied at three. We see the shot come from the point here. And it's deflected. I can't tell if it's off a stick or a body, but either way, it's deflected in the net behind Radcliffe. For Melissa Piacentini, that is her sixth of the season. 32 seconds remaining in the Syracuse power play. Sibley gets held up at the blue line. The Tigers come out. Here is Cassie Clayton, the freshman. 50 stick handling. Clayton goes in and scores. It's a short handed goal. by Cassie Clayton. We'll see it on the replay here in just a second. She takes out that defenseman and goes to the glove side there. She just takes a nice crafty shot. It's a nice easy goal for RIT and it's on shorthanded. So we had three power play goals and one shorthanded goal for RIT today.